Greetings guys, it's Irish. Uh, in recent weeks, I've been considering moving my Raspberry Pi to Arch Linux. So in this video, I thought I would show you how to do that. Now, I've been running Raspbian Jesse, I believe it was, uh, on my Pi. And the only thing I run on my first generation Pi is a ZNC server, which keeps me always logged in to the IRC. So I thought I would show you guys again how to do this. So I went to the Arch Linux ARM, which unfortunately is not an official, uh, officially supported by the Arch Linux community. It is a derivative, which is interesting. Hopefully they will adopt it soon. But yesterday I did buy a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now I tried doing this on a one gigabyte because uh, that's the one that I had lying around but I did get everything to boot up but unfortunately it didn't have enough space to update everything. I did see a previous YouTube uh, video on how to do this and the guy did it with a 16 gigabyte SD card. I'm, s I'm assuming you can do it with an 8 but, you know, more the probably the better. So, on here it says for FDisk, but I have done this with CFDisk, which I prefer better. So, I'm going to put the SD card into the slot reader here. Now, you want to open up a command prompt and type in LSBLK. So, that's list block and then you see it right here it's SDB and it does have um, has nothing on it so it is brand new so now if we do a sudo cf disk slash dev SDB put in password here so it has three yeah so this looks perfectly fine um, so we're just gonna delete and then say new we are gonna say 100 megabytes primary and then under type we want to have a 32 uh, C uh, number C so W95 FAT32 LBA so Make sure that, so it says it right here if you are reading this along. Uh, and then the rest of it is just going to fill it up. So the rest of the 29 gigs. Set hit OK. Primary. We'll write it. Yes. And now we can quit. So the next thing we need to do is create a few mount points for this. So we are going to, I'm sorry, make a, a couple of directories. So I'm going to put this in the MNT. Uh, so I need to do sudo make dir dev, sorry, MNT slash boot. One second. Okay, so, appar okay, so apparently there was already a MNT boot, so we'll just do regular boot. So MKDIR boot, and then MKDIR root. So next thing, we want to make the file system. So say sudo MKFS, that V fat slash dev SDB1, because that is our boot partition. And then sudo mkfs that ext4, and that's going to be to sdb2. Now make sure you it is sdb or whatever it is, because if you say sda, you may accidentally overwrite all of your systems. So just be careful which uh, extension you're doing this to. 
So the next thing we're going to do is mount the root file system. So mount, sorry, sudo mount dev sdb1 to root, and then sudo mount dev sdb2. I'm sorry, I just did this wrong. Okay, so sudo mount dev sdb1 to boot. And then sudo mount dev sdb2 to root. Okay, uh, one second. Okay, so I don't know what happened when I did the first time. It only showed SDB1, so I had to undo it, redo it, and then it showed it changed to SDC1 and 2. So everything should be fine. So again, I'm still following this around. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our downloads folder. And we're going to go into our super user. So, one thing we need to do is get the file system or the OS itself. So, wget, uh, make sure that you have wget installed. So, I do. Uh, the first time I did this, I did not. So, uh, just double check uh, with your Linux distro. Um, if you have wget, most of the time it should be installed. Uh, with it. So we're going to say wget http backslash backslash os arch linux arm.org os arch linux arm.rpy. So now if you have a Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 3, you would probably want to do an R2 dash 2 dash 3 but because this is first gen I'm gonna do it that way so late is dot tar dot GZ and then we're going to enter and that should download so I will be back this does take a while so I'll be right back okay so once that's done uh, I've never heard of BSD tar so it's going to be interesting. So what we're going to do is just copy and paste. Now I don't know if this is going to work or anything, so we'll find out. So we're going to say dev sdc2. slash root. Alright, one second. Okay, so it says I couldn't change directory into this, so what I did was go into the directory and hopefully this will work. Okay, so Let's do this another way. Just do it the way that I did it last night. So I'll go back into downloads. Uh, tar zxvf arch linux 2 dash c to dev sdc2 slash root.
Okay, so I figured out the issue. The t when I did the one gigabyte SD card, I already created a root and a boot. So I redid this SD card and did the BSD tar to the MNT slash root and everything worked fine. So now we just need to say sync. Everything's synced, so now we need to move the boot folder to the boot partition. So we'd say MNT root boot star to MNT slash boot. even though it failed uh, everything moved over so we just exit out of our root and then we just say u mount dev mnt root show our sudo mnt root and MNT boot. Now we should take this out and everything should work. Now from what I gather, but right out of the box SSH should work so we'll see if this works so I shall be right back. Okay so everything installed correctly and everything booted up. I have SSH'd in. For whatever reason I'm unable to get into the root side of it even though the password is root so don't know why that happened but the default user is alarm and the password is alarm so I'll probably change that eventually but to initiate pacman keys so we can upgrade this so you say pacman dash key uh, dash dash nit for initiate Okay, <clears throat> so now let's see if this works. That's Pac-Man SYU. And there we go. Awesome. So, uh, looks like it is installed. I will try to find a way to record uh, everything based off of the Pi. Um, I'm probably going to put XFCE4 on it. Uh, there's just no way for me to, to do this unless I get my phone out and everything else like that but I just don't feel like editing uh, that much so but uh, if you guys have any issues please let me know uh, and just letting you probably know that I'm probably going to be moving off of Gen 2 in the next few days we'll see how the next couple of updates go but I'm just uh, there's a lot more hands-on stuff that I need to do recently and I just don't know if I have the time to do it so it's all about time base plus I do have an older laptop so hardware may not be suited for Gen 2 so but uh, again let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll catch you next video